Today we're going to talk about the single stage amplifiers. They are fundamental building blocks for most of circuits. It's pretty much everywhere, so get familiar with those uh, single stage amplifiers. If you get a chance, um, do your simulations with it and then try to get more intuition to it. Uh, when we talk about single stage amplifiers, it includes um, common source, source followers, regular cascode, photo cascode, uh, differential amplifiers. But today we can just only talk about the common source and the source followers. Um, before diving to this uh, two, two single stage amplifiers, let's get some basics done. So on the left most, that's uh, essentially we have uh, two current source. Two ideal kinds of current source. One is the two microamps on the top. This one is uh, one microamps at the bottom. So the question to you is, what kind of voltage you gonna get uh, at the node A? Right, just think about it for a minute. The answer is, um, if you have a you know ideal current source. On top and the bottom, this voltage on node A at node A gonna just shoots up to to the moon, right? So because what happened was you have a, you know ideal kind source on top, it can support two microamps, but the bottom can only sink one microamps. Of course, the charge gonna accumulate at node A. That's the reason, and the no voltage gonna shoots up very, very high. And the second one is a MOS. We will use MOS as an example here. So for the MOS, when you look at the impedance from the gate into the gate, it's apparently infinity, right? Because you have the, the gate poly here. It's insulator. Most of the cases, um, if you look at the, 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 the impedance from the drain side, that's L or RDS or one over GDS. If you look at the impedance from the source side, that's one of the GM, usually. Okay, that's the second one. So one is the polarity of the signals. This is very useful when you try to, you know, just analyze the circuit in uh, without doing too much, uh, without before you're doing the simulations, right? You, you can at least, by looking at this one, um, by looking at the circuit, uh, analyze it with this, uh, you know, up and downs, you at least know um, the polarity of the signals. So essentially what it says here is if you raise up the gate voltage, right, raise up the gate voltage, the source voltage going to also go up, while the drain voltage going to go down, right. It does not tell you how much you're going to go down or how much you're going to go up but just tell you when the gate voltage you have a positive change on the gate voltage and then a source voltage is going to go up and drain voltage is going to go down it's going to tell you the priority so now after that let's talk about the common source topology here's the common source topology is this the GM stage is this is the um, current source load apparently m1 i'm just putting this a small signal ac signal model here for your reference and m1 and m2 apparently is in the saturation saturation region so what does that mean if there's no current go out as this node the current goes through the transit m1 m2 equals to the current going to the, the m1 so the v in going to be or above, like, let's say 1 VTH above at the ground right when you look at the VB which is 1 VTH lower than the VDD here when you look at again from V in to V out that's equal to the GM the production the product of the GM of M1 and out out when you you know essentially it's two resistance parallel so it's the rds of uh, m2 
and the RDS of M1. So as you can see here, VM multiple, right? So it's, uh, you move the VM from the right side to the left side, so that's the gain, voltage gain. So that equal to GM of M1 multiplied by this uh, out, this two out in parallel. Polarity wise, when you look at the signals, when VIN goes up, right, the drain voltage should go down. Right. So this one is just little small exercises, right, with the uh, common source topology. So the question is, what is the gain from V in to V out? Think about it for a minute. The answer is it's about one, because right, because the the, the we use the equation here, GM or uh, GM of M one, right, and out is this M two in parallel with this, this uh, M one. The impedance when you look into the M1 is out, is a lot higher than the impedance when you look up, which is 1 over GM. Since this no, we assume there's no current to go out as this node. So the current goes through M1 equal to M2, so the GM of these two devices is about the same. So that's the reason the, gain, the voltage gain from V in to V out is about the 1. Source follower. So um, let's see. So this is the input. This is the output, and the M1, M2 in a saturation region, and the current goes through M1, goes through M2, and V in large signal watts is one VT. It's about one VT higher than the V out. VB voltage is one VT above the ground. And the gain from uh, the the input to output is about one. That's the reason we call a source follower. And uh, also, and uh, the polarity wise, as you guessed, when the V in goes up, and the V out also goes up. Thank you for watching. If you like our video, please subscribe our channel.